Hi friends, this is Julia. I'm here to share my November 2019 Counterfeit Kit Challenge Kit. This kit was inspired by a Dutch online shop called Scrap Delight Scrap Winkle, and it is their winter kit. I, I'm pretty sure it's for this year. Anyway, I have this kit that was uh, curated for a swap that I went to as a goodie bag selection. Now, the paper line is Felicity Jane, and it is really pretty. You've got the colored aspect on one side, with the exception of this one, um, and then the back side is primarily black and white, with the exception of these two full-size uh, sheets of color paper, but they're uh, they alternate with different colors. The rest here are black and white. I pulled mostly for this side with the colors. And then I, I saved out this one black and white sheet that has some words in the teal and the pink along with it. Um, along with this kit curated uh, by the, the uh, retreat host was this set of Brook die cuts and so I just spread them out on here used a little um, removable dot glue to put them on the sheet just to keep them with this kit I will pull these off and put these in a bowl because that's how I like to scrap with them I have this set of alpha stickers and they are like a heavy-duty uh, chipboard um, I don't know I've never used the Felicity Jane chipboard stickers I've used some of their others but not those um, so we'll see I have this set of puffy stickers uh, they could be titles they could be just random words um, this set of uh, sequin mix uh, by Spiegel mom scraps and that was uh, curated specifically for a retreat that I was at for the Victoria Marie retreat uh, and not this year. I think it was a couple of years ago. Anyway, I had this with it this little uh, Black and white twine and then this set of washi tape. I also had with it Now I went through and because I felt like I wanted some additional color in this Because these inspiration pieces and even these have a little bit of orangey peachy orange I pulled in some additional pages from or uh, papers from my stash and these are all with the orange feel peachy feel I pulled in this one it has a lot of the teal but it leans a lot towards blue but it also has that peachy feel into it as well this one you can see I it grades all the way from blue to teal to yellow and orange to deeper darker uh, rusty orange to that almost fuchsia pink again same color feel here these are really thin papers here and then these are two random ones this one did not come in here but it is a watercolor but it has a lot of the same feel and then this one is an old adorn it um and it's an older one i oh lapril collection whatever that was um but it has almost an orange and green with a cream feel to it and i felt like because this has the green um and that peachy color that i felt like i could get some of this used as well so those are the papers that i have added um the embellishments that came with uh these embellishments here that came with now i went through my stash and i added some stuff in because you know this is never going to be enough so I found these labels and it has the pink uh, and gold feel to it and white. So I'm going to use those. I don't know that I'll get the the uh, green and the dark blue used, but you know the gold and the pink I will I will try. These Joy Puffy shapes, these I think are from last year's Christmas line, but this color green, this uh, dark, it looks red almost or a hot pink in this package, but I think it mac matches the deeper tones in the floral there the white and the black and then this lighter um lighter shade of peach and green here then i found these uh chipboard shapes from the gina line and so um this these are from the mila line these are from the joy line these are from the gina line and so i have uh, several in here that are left i don't know that i'll get the dark green ones used but i have some of the other color family in there that i feel like match really well so I pulled that in, but you guys know me, that's not enough. So I went through my stash of, of uh, freckled fawn embellishments and I pulled in quite a bit. I found this wood, 
wood veneer that says today. I found these wood veneer and they're like little starbursts or asterisks, but I had colored them a hot pink and I felt like they matched the inside of that really well. So there's a couple pieces there. This chipboard shape that says, or chipboard, uh, wood veneer shape that says I love you on one side and it's plain wood veneer on the other. These acrylic shapes, one says adventure, one says explore. I pulled in quite a few, um, pocket page cards. Some of these are double-sided, I believe. Maybe not. Yeah, there. Um, but uh, these are the size that I'm showing you are the ones that I plan to use them for. Then I pulled in these uh, pearls. They have that uh, mint color, the um, white color and then a gray color as well as what's left in these two packages of enamel dots i don't know that i will get the blue ones used up in that or the red ones on this pack but hopefully we'll get the rest of them used up i had several of these epoxy shapes um, i have stars and hearts on here that I, i'm going to try and get used up these puffy stickers that are uh they're puffy as well as they have a heart and star design and they're in black and white these acetate frames. Now there are some of them in here that won't go at all, but like these uh, por partial pieces. Um, and then there's that yellow gold that's uh, in here. Um, yeah, and the lighter shade of blue and maybe the lighter shade of teal even, or uh, purple even that I might be able to get used. Pull in these washi stickers and uh, they are just strips. These label stickers. These are some chipboard pieces, just a few left in here. I'm gonna try and get some more used up. More chipboard fray stickers, more chipboard fray stickers and uh, shape stickers. And this kit came from, I don't remember when, but it has these lovely colors that I feel like will match the kit as well as some of the oranges and this white tile letter sticker has gold uh, letters to them. And I have multiple sheets of that in there. There's probably at least three or four sheets of that. So, that's what I have from Freckled Fawn. You're looking at me, I know, and you're thinking, gosh, that's already a fairly large kit. But for me, not enough. So, <laughs> what I'm going to do is show you what else I pulled in. I went to my die cut drawer, and I pulled out this set from Heidi, uh, Heidi Swap. Yeah, and it was a baby kit of some sort, um, but it had pinks and, and teals and um, yeah. So I'm going to try and get some of that used up. I went into my bling drawer and I pulled out this um, Flourish bling. And typically what I do is I cut these in half and so I have two pieces to get used somehow. I found some white Nuvo drops in my stash that I'm going to try to get used. Uh, these washi tapes are the ones that I pulled in. You can see teals, one of orange, three of pink, and then one of yellow. Uh, I went into my metal drawer and pulled out some green basil uh, brads and then these arrow feather, arrow and feather brads. Those are from uh, Paper Studio. Then uh, chipboard. Oh, wait, more from the bling drawer. These are white and um, gray and almost a charcoal color of faceted gemstones. Those are from close to my heart. From the chipboard, I pulled in these two pieces. I believe they're both from Heidi Swap. Um, there's one left in this package and then one random one. And then finally, I went into my white color bin and just pulled out random bits. So I have like a partial cloud shape, a uh, um, uh, coaster frame, another full cloud shape. I have bits that I have stamped out. Uh, that's a leftover bit from a sticker. Now these are all like that. I stamped and then uh, distressed around the edges and it's even on a piece of pop-up tape. I have these little bits and pieces, this little shape of Texas that I cut out, um, all these different pieces. That's an older cut from my silhouette. These are die cut pieces with stitched edges. Um, yeah, this, another piece that's already on 
foam adhesive. That's something I printed and fussy cut. This is off of a card someone sent me. Um, the card ended up getting damaged and so rather than toss the whole thing, I kept this piece that was on the front of it. Um, yeah, and then I have some random bits and pieces in here. Yeah, so that's what I have um, as far as kit goes. So this is everything right here. And for me, if you guys have been watching, you know this isn't a ginormous kit, but it is a fairly large one for most people. The other thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to pull in some tools. And for me, tools can be uh, dies, they can be stamps, they can be whatever. Um, so I pulled in, I went to my stamp drawer, I found this set from Felicity Jane. And I don't know if it has a name. I don't see a name on it. But it has great phrases around it. This set also from Felicity Jane. No name on there either. This set from Felicity Jane. This Alpha set from Felicity Jane. And I pulled this one specifically because on this die cut sheet, oh, I don't know if I can get down here to it. There were some phrases on there that had this scripted font. And so I pulled this out to use. And then I found this one that is from Allie Edwards. <coughs> and it is older. It's from 2011. And so, but it says love you and adore you so very much and always XOXO and you, you, you. Um, so I'm hoping to get some use out of those as far as the tools go. So that's it. That's my kit for for November 2019. Um, I appreciate you guys sticking around. And if you make a kit, I would love to see it. Um, anyway, uh, leave me a link below if you've created your own kit. Um, if not, um, I hope this inspires you to get into your room and to play with some of your stuff. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye, everyone.